But for your Facebook story of the day, you wanted to know how UP farmers are faring. What's it like to make a living in that field? Well, TV6's Anna Samovska visited a dairy farm, and she joins us now with more. Anna? Steve, the life of a farmer is without question a hard one. A 4 a.m. wake-up call and long days go without saying, but skyrocketing prices on everything from gas to equipment makes it really difficult to make ends meet. <laughs> Chuck Bergdahl's farm in Scandia produces a truckload of dairy each day, but lately he's been milking the budget just to make ends meet. It's not easy, you know, I mean, you can go to a casino and gamble, you're probably better off. <laughs> and taking a risk is what farmers across the UP do. Starting with Mother Nature. Now, one of the most important things for farmers is to have really good soil. And with this mild winter that we've had, as you can tell, this one is pretty dry, which makes it really hard for the crops to grow. Like corn and hay, because 250 cows depend on it. That's what they live on. I mean, we need corn and we need the grain and we need hay. And, and uh, if we don't have those, uh, cows don't do too good. On Facebook, Sue Radloff says farming is a tough, risky business. Huge investment of time and money without knowing if you'll be able to sustain your life from year to year. And with gas prices at $4 per gallon, farmers are spending more than producing. Chuck says it costs nearly $400 to fill up a big tractor and another $400 to plant just one acre of corn. Bergdahl's has 500 of them. For fertilizer, he dishes out an extra $800 hundred dollars per ton. At this farm, there's no room for mistakes. We, we're a lot more sensitive of how we use it and how much we use, and we take soil tests and make sure that we don't put extra on there, because, you know, I mean, it's expensive. Now, with the weather being the biggest factor, farmers are now taking a gamble on whether or not there will be enough rain this season. And although they can start planting sooner, one night of frost can actually ruin their crop. Steve?